guys, comment down below. My son is one year old. He knows how to take the top of the seatbelt off. Has this ever happened to you guys? My other baby's sleeping. But I feel like the button is like... I feel like the button is too... To like stop, and then I went to Bye Bye Baby to go and see if they have like a cover for the top part, and they don't even have the cover. They don't sell a cover for it, and it's a sensor safe. I do apologize if it's raining. Like you hear the rain, like it is raining right now. Like I'm on the road, but anyways. His seatbelt, or his whole car seat is like sensor safe. So basically, it um, tells me when he takes off his seatbelt, tells me when the temperature is too hot. Like, it tells me all of that. Oh my goodness, flooded. Oh. Like, it is all flooded throughout this area. Like, raining is crazy. Let me see if I can put you guys here. Oh my god. Anyways, guys, you see I have my wig today because, you know, we're not going to sit out here and look crazy. Not today. But, so... I have like the sensor safe where it tells me everything, but he takes off his seatbelt and he's like constantly trying to get out and trying to lean forward like he's doing right now. Look at this. Look at this. Mateo, sit down. Sit. Luckily, I have the child lock on the doors because he already tried to open the doors and it's just crazy like these pandemic babies seriously these pandemic babies ain't no joke and it's really just ridiculous like i don't even know and i'm trying to go through this back road because the rain is just Crazy. Look at it. So, the rain is really crazy. But, thank you guys so much for supporting me throughout this journey. Um, you know, it's a very rough time in my life, as well as like other personal things that I'm going through that um you know i do want to keep private not everything is for social media or you know but as far as the cancer is going i am just so 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 concerned about it like it has been on my mind non-stop let me put you guys up here hold on on my mind non-stop because of the simple fact that you know my doctor told me that by my second chemo by my second chemo that the bump that I have it's like right here inside my collarbone would be gone so as time goes by mind you I have already had like 11 chemos or no 10 chemos so far so I already had 10 chemos and like the bump is still there. So it's just like, I mean like what's going on? Like, I don't even know. I don't know what's going on. And now the chemos are too strong for me. Like my last chemo had me in bed for like literally five days. Like my husband had to stay home from work and help me with the kids. Like it was just a lot. So, 
um, basically, I called my doctor's office and the nurse answered. Well, she called me back after I left the message. She said she was going to talk to the doctor and then from there, go from there. But I have my chemo this Thursday. And I have my chemo this Thursday. Guys, you like this cute little backpack? Since my baby's not a little baby baby no more, I do just carry around the like the necessities in here because I feel like he no longer needs like a full baby bag, like with everything in it. So I just put in the necessary things that a baby doesn't really you know like a baby wouldn't need but he's a big boy now so yeah and that's pretty much it like I literally left my house to take these kids to the playground to run around and mind you as soon as I get in the car and drive out of my house like two lights after that it just starts pouring and I'm like hmm. well then I guess we're going for a drive but luckily the big one fell asleep the little one's drinking his juice right now in the back and I guess we're just gonna take a drive like I still have to go to the store and get a milk oil and lime and that's pretty much it other than that, comment down below if you guys like this little bandana. I had it even before I had, a, you know, the cancer situation because I felt like it would always keep my ears warm and stuff. And I just now started wearing it with my wig. So, you know, I think it looks cute. You know, other people think it looks silly, but honestly, like, I don't care what other people say. This is what I like. And this, this is what makes me feel comfortable. So, you know. And also, I've been drinking water, right? I haven't been drinking as much water. But I found this, like, natural. It has vitamin C, B, and vitamin B2. Um, it's like a little bottle that you spray the the little bit of juice in your water and it tastes amazing i got strawberry watermelon and it tastes amazing like it tastes so good and yeah so you guys should go ahead and try that if you guys are having trouble with drinking water so often like i should be drinking like a, literally a gallon of water a day but um I stopped doing that because I felt like the water was just making me nauseous. So I'm switching to flavoring the water and hopefully flavoring the water makes me want to drink the water more uh, because honestly like juice makes me sick. Like it could be any type of juice. The only juice that I can hold down is really orange juice. Orange juice and you know sometimes milk. But as far as like the berry punch and the fruit punch and all that stuff, I can't. Not even if it's the V8, the strawberry banana, the 100% juices, like I can't really tolerate that much. So, yeah, but well, it looks like it calmed down a little bit on this side, finally. Yeah, because it's ridiculous, like crazy. But, um, it's like there's a bad storm. Yeah. The storm was bad. But anyways, I want to thank you so much to all the supporters. I do read everyone's comments, and I do like everyone's comments. Um, thank you so much for your feedback, and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, commenting on my videos um, all the feedback that I get I do take knowledge of it um, so as far as the negative feedback you know I really don't try to not pay any mind to that but as far as all the positive feedback like I do appreciate y'all because your girl 
does need that that motivation sometimes um to keep going because i do i am going through this and you know it is hard if i was going through it like by myself with these two kids um and then on top of not only taking care of them it's like trying to feel pretty with not having hair so if you see me without makeup it's like i look like i feel like i look like a little rag doll like you know that doll from toy story i might put it up here like yes that doll from toy story like yeah but sometimes i joke about it other times i'm just like oh whatever but most days um to make me feel better i'll just throw on a wig and call it a day so basically that's what i've been doing um and yeah so this is the water i've been drinking i do love ice cold water like love 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 ice cold water comment down below if you guys like ice cold water too like this bomb but anyways um so as far as my cancer for those of you guys who don't know um or are new to my channel i have stage 3 hodgkin's lymphoma cancer and that is a type of blood cancer um early february february 10 of 2022 to be exact i had to get surgery done to insert a port that is connected to the largest vein and ultimately connected to my heart that's where the chemotherapy goes through an iv on my chest and that's the only way that i can get chemotherapy because if i were to do it like a regular iv on my arms it would burn all my veins and i would no longer have accessible veins on my arms to drop blood or any of that so that's the way that it is done there are other forms of chemotherapy like um like a pill virgin or um some people do radiation treatments there's a lot of treatments to choose from but not specifically to choose from because I didn't choose chemotherapy. It chose me in my specific condition. When I started, I was in stage three. Basically meaning that it was all the way from my head all the way down to my waist. That's stage three. Stage four is if the cancer is all the way throughout your whole body. So I'm um, pretty sure I've gone down from a stage three, but that's what they that's what i am put as for right now of stage three um i'm really nervous because i have three chemos left three chemos left but um even though like a lot of it a lot of it has gone down i feel like my main like my main worry was the bump in my neck that the doctor said it would have gone away already but it still hasn't gone away so i'm concerned what if i have these three other chemos left and then what like it's still there i'm gonna have to do another test pet scan of course to make sure that everything has gone away but it's just like dang like my expectations were like i guess too high because that's how i found out that i had cancer with just a bump like and that specific bump still hasn't gone away guys listen to your body listen to your body when listen to your body when it tells you that something's wrong when you have a bump anywhere on your body and it's not usual even though you don't feel any pain and the bump is still there go to the doctor and get it checked out because it could be something really really serious i thought it was like a doctor pimple thing oh they're gonna pop my pimple and i'm just gonna go about my day and like nothing happened 
no it was not like that like i honestly wish like if you guys seen dr pimple like comment down below because you know i wish my situation was like that to where one visit and you're done and i don't have to go through that no more but that's pretty much it guys i'm not even gonna hold you guys no longer um go ahead and subscribe to my channel like this video share this video with everyone you know um post click on the notification bell so that way you get notified every time that i post and on that note i love you guys so 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 much thank you all for supporting me throughout this journey thank you so much for all the positive feedback um i feel like you know my lovelies as you guys are you guys are like family to me and let's get this video um to 50 likes and i will post another video um we're on the road to a thousand subscribers so let's get it bye let's go get some ice cream come on ice cream ice cream ice cream i want some ice cream okay Let's go down here, come on.